So this question is a diagram question. It is based upon the table that's provided here. And that table has a heading that says number of contestants by score and day. So um, I'm going to check this table out. Like how is the information organized here? So it looks like we have days in these first three rows here. And then uh, it looks like our scores are here, five out of five, three, four out of five, three, two, one, and zero out of five. And I would imagine that that means these numbers in the grid here, you know, across all these rows, uh, represent the number of contestants. Okay, so now I have a good sense of how to read the table. I'm going to just erase this so we can see it clearly. But I have a pretty good sense of how to read the table. Now I'm going to go down to the information provided here. So it says the same 20 contestants on each of three days answered five questions in order to win a prize. Each contestant received one point for each correct answer. The number of contestants receiving a given score on each day is shown in the table above. All right, I think we got that. So question 38 says no contestant received the same score on two different days. If a contestant is selected at random, what is the probability that the selected contestant received a score of five on day two or day three, given that the contestant received a score of five on one of the three days? So this question is a probability question. We're specifically being asked for the probability of something happening on day two or day three. When it comes to probability on the SAT, something to make note of is a probability is always going to be a fraction. The numerator to that fraction will always be what you want. So I'll just write that down, what you want. And the denominator of that fraction will always be what you have, right? What you have or the total that you're choosing from is a better way to put it sometimes. So here's what we're dealing with. And also the word or when we're dealing with probabilities always represents addition versus if that had been and, right, day two and day three, we'd have to multiply the probabilities or multiply the fractions. So what is the probability that a contestant scores five points on day two? Well, for day two, and scoring five, that puts us right here on the table, the number two. So we know that what we want is to score five points, so that's only two contestants were able to do that. Now, what do we have? How many total contestants scored five out of five? Well, that's down here. It's the seven. So two out of the seven contestants that scored five out of five scored or earned that score on day two. Let's do the exact same thing for day three. So on day three, how many contestants scored five out of five? Well, that would be three students. So that's what we want, or three contestants, I'm sorry. And then those three contestants um, were out of the total of seven contestants that scored a five out of five in general. So that's it. That's the translation of this question. Here's our probability. Right, so keep this in mind here. Also keep in mind that or means addition. 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7 is equal to 5 over 7. And that is the answer.